In this video, we will continue with division of polynomials. You will find this on page 379 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at example 15. Find the remainder when this is divided by this. Now, recall that we need to have the terms written down with the indices in descending order and to make sure we don't make any mistakes, we add any missing term with a coefficient of 0. So because it's jumping from 3 to 1, we just add the 0x squared, and there's the minus x, and there's the 0. Okay, it's just going to help. Now first I'm going to just reflect the old, the long division, and then I will just remind you of the shorter one, which you can also use. Okay. So we take the first term, we divide it by that divisor, that first one, and we get this. And then don't forget, we multiply and we multiply to get this. We subtract, and if we subtract, then the signs change. Then this becomes a negative, and this also becomes a negative. Then if I simplify, I get this. I bring that one down. Then I divide, I get negative 8x. And then I multiply, multiply. And then I subtract, and I will just remember a negative and a negative will become a positive. And that one will also become a positive. And then I get this. And then I divide, and I get 31. I multiply, multiply, and this is my remainder. Now, we can use the short one. Can you remember from ordinary level? We write just the coefficient. So it's 2, but then you must put that 0, minus 1, 0. Then we bring that first one down. Then we multiply, we write it there, we simplify. We multiply, we write it there, we simplify. And then we multiply, we write it, and, and that is the remainder. Okay, the quotient is then this, and this is the remainder. Now, in the final version of my print, I changed this last sentence a little bit, and I will read it to you. So you can only use synthetic division for dividing by linear expression if the leading coefficient is 1. Okay, it's it, for examples, you can use synthetic division to divide by this, but then I was changing it, but it will be more difficult, so I changed this in my final version. So it will be more difficult to use synthetic division if, if that is not a one, if, it, if it's like this. And it will be impossible if it's like this. So more difficult for this and impossible. So my personal is go for only if it's a 1. Otherwise, you're going to make it a little bit complicated for yourself if it's like, then rather go for the long division. So just take note that I change it a little bit in your textbooks that you will see. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 15, just number A. But I want you to try to do it on the long method as well as on the short method. And so that you just, because especially the short method spare you a lot of time if you do it in the exam. Right, let's start. So number A. So it's going to be, let's first do it on the long. I'm going to just take a ruler there. Uh, and then it's going to be. 3x to the power of 3 plus 0x2 plus 4x minus 5. Right, a little bit longer. And then the divisor is x plus 1. And even if I divide, I get 3x squared. And then I multiply, I get 3x3. And I multiply, and I get 3x squared. And I change the signs. Okay. And then I get negative 3x squared. Then I divide and I get negative 3x. Okay. Let's just get that thing correct there. Then I multiply. Okay. I can bring that 4x down. Then I multiply. I get negative 3x squared. And I multiply, and I get negative 3x. Okay. And then I change the signs. Positive 
positive and then this cancel and this will be 7x and I divide so it's plus 7 so I multiply 7x and bring that negative 5 down so always write here bring that one down otherwise as soon as you write this one you can bring that one down okay and if I multiply I get 7 and then I change the signs And then this cancel and this will be negative 12. So therefore, okay, simplify each of them and, and find the remainder. So therefore, the remainder is negative 12. That's the question. Okay, always read the question and make sure you answer the question. Okay, but now I want to show you the short method in this one. So if I'm, and I just want to make it not too, so in this case we make the, let's still use a ruler. So we do it like this. And then what do we write? I will show you quickly what do we write. We write this, 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 and this. So we write 3, 0, negative 5 okay and now don't forget you, you put this equal to 0 and then it x will be equal to negative 1 okay that's very important and then you bring this one down so also this is also a step that sometimes people forget you bring that one down so if you bring it down you will get 3 and now you multiply and you get negative 3 and you get negative 3 and you multiply and you get 3. You add, you get 7. You multiply, you get negative 7. Very sure. And that's negative 12. And then you start, this is the constant. So this is x, put the plus, And this will be x squared. But the question was, and now you compare, 3x squared, 3x squared. Negative 3x, negative 3x. 7, 7. So therefore, the remainder is negative 2. Okay, so make sure you can do this method. It's very fast and it's very effective if there is a 1 in front. Just remember to make it x plus 1 equals 0. So therefore, x will be negative 1. And that is what I was putting there.